reminder for myself. And Rabbikul Ajisa Da'ifa wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we still exist that alhamdulillah Allah granted for us to enter this holy month of Rabbi Thani and the dress of Surat al Yaseen, the holy dress of Surat al Yaseen, Qur'an al Majid, the immense lights and blessings of Surat al Yaseen. InshaAllah we've covered a lot in the last few weeks and we can go over some if there's any questions. I think we put more and more information and, and people get sort of information overload, inshaAllah. Questions, inshaAllah? Anyway, this camera I can't see inside. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Thank you for guiding us and unfolding the amazing realities of the Holy Qur'an from yesterday's topic about Allah writing good and bad destinies in the Holy Book. How to have patience for misfortune and destiny of difficulties and what is the divine hikmah behind it. Please forgive, may Allah bless you more and more. Thank you, walaykum as salaam wa I didn't get the last part. How to have patience for misfortune and destiny of difficulties and what is the divine hikmah behind it? I think the divine hikmah in everything that Allah does is testing. That the testing is what you forge steel. You know that the pounding of steel and the making of steel is that you heat it, you pound it, you heat it, you pound it, put it in water, take it out, pound again, heat it. And layer after layer that steel becomes uh, immensely powerful and not brittle and shouldn't flake and fall apart. And Allah wants always the best for us inshaAllah with the love of Prophet and that uh, always wants that we succeed and that we struggle in His way. And it builds character, struggling and difficulties and obstacles and testing. And uh, life is about the struggle, victory belongs to Allah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. With this way of ishq and love you take a great deal of the mystery of all of the testing away when Allah guides the student towards meditation, tafakkur, contemplation and the turuqs, the tariqahs in which to perfect their mannerisms, perfect their character and to reflect inward within their heart. Then it illuminates the path because every time a test comes there's always so much confusion to the physicality. Those whom illuminate their inner reality as soon as a test comes they go inside like the turtle, that when a pounding comes on the outside you see the turtle retreats inside its cave and it carries its cave with it. And it's uh, symbolic for ourselves is that uh, we have that cave within our chest. Then if we're looking for solutions and resolution outside it's going to be very confusing, very difficult and pretty much like what you described, calamities and, and sort of a, a negative understanding to it. The one whom 
retreats within their heart, they can find the beauty within Allah's testing. They feel the grace, they feel Divine grace, they feel the emanation and they, they feel the difficulty outside and the cool and gentle breeze within their soul and within their inner reality. For every time Allah squeezes the outside an inner reality is being made and those whom can achieve to reach to the feeling and the sense of their inner reality can identify that grace and that light and, and that majesty coming to them. So it's not so dark, it's not so horrible, it's not, it's not something that uh, is a confusion. The one whom has an inner light can sense the inner grace of every squeeze that Allah and every test that Allah sends to them. So alhamdulillah that Allah guide us towards the, the path of inner realities. Otherwise the, this world is, is just a, a, an abode of testing and the testing is to intensify as the, this dunya goes through a state of death. So it means that when the dunya is, is ending all the, the physicality around us, everything is going to be in hardship and Allah's great blessing are for those whom He inspires towards an inner path, an inner reality, an inner light inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, how can we protect ourselves from nightmares every night and why may we be having bad dreams continuously? Yeah, inshaAllah you have to get the meditation book inshaAllah and the, the teachings on energy and teachings of the Taweez, teachings of uh, keeping yourself in wudu so if, if you're coming in new or if you're coming in and, and you've been practicing the way then that's something different. If you're coming in new then we have an entire teaching that this is a, a battle against energy and one has to fortify themselves and make sure that they have equipment that's prepared for inner battle. That's why the outer people they don't understand this battle nor do they recognize any of its equipment. And that's its own danger and that, that is why shaitan comes to people so that not to prepare for the inner battle and not to have the equipment of their inner battle and not to have an understanding of their inner battle. Shaitan makes everything to be external and devoid of light. So those whom practice only external understanding they limit the scope of the reality of light that can enter within their heart and, and the gifts in which Allah has given. Those whom Allah guides, they meditate, they contemplate. As soon as they accompany the shaykhs of this type of reality, they have a taweez, they're taught about their wudu, they're taught how to keep their wudu at all times, they're taught about how to fortify their homes and how to recite the recitations and the different wazifas. And they have wazifas for, for much more difficult situations and for, for black magic and energies and, and for madad and support and for unseen support. So there's many tools Allah has, has given to the shaykhs for guiding and that's also to fortify the students and to build their energy, build their practices and it's a, in a way a calling. So one whom has a lot of experiences with this dark side and, and negativity, it's like a calling because they're the first to believe, they're the first to come towards these realities through these broadcasts and to, to get the taweezes, to learn to meditate, to make the madha, to make the connection. So in a way it was Allah's mercy that allowed them to have these experiences and lend them to seek out something spiritual as a solution. Imagine those who've had no experience with anything, this seems very foreign and as a result they don't, they're not familiar with any of these spiritual tools. Taweez, what is that? Uh, this, what is that? What is this talk of world? What is this talk of light? What is this talk of energy? Everything is foreign to them. And those whom live an inner battle, 
and the way of chivalry and the way of, of knighthood and the way of the inner battle they're very familiar. So like, uh, like these movies and sci-fi movies or fantasy movies immediately they draw out and their, all their weapons and their weapons are from the world of light. The, their ta'weezes, the, the practices, the energy practices, all of these are for an inner battle and an inner reality and that Allah trained them in the world of light and their madad and how to call and how to ask for support and that to recognize one is, is weak in different areas and requires support. Then shaitan comes to fool servants that, no, no you don't need any support. And you do because if you get your car stuck on the highway you have to call a tow truck. Well why you don't just tow your own car and pull it yourself? You need the, uh, a way, a tawassul, a means. You need a means in which to take your car to the service and to sell, help you through a difficulty. If Allah has that for the dunya, imagine for the spiritual, that there are spiritual tow trucks, spiritual support, spiritual police, spiritual realities that come, that Allah created the, that world and that they come to the service and they lend their support to believers to navigate these oceans of difficulty and, and, the, and the, the many obstacles of the unseen. So these types of difficulties that come you have to help me at Nur Muhammad and make sure that you've done everything that the tariqahs asked, you have the books, you understood the ta'weez, you understood the wudu, you understood the practices, you understood the madad and make the connection and your connection is very strong, those things should never happen and they should be lessened. So if someone's coming new, yeah there's many attacks. And many people are sick and many people have many things that they don't even know their attacks. The sicknesses and illnesses and weaknesses are spiritual attacks. That these creatures and these beings they come near people and they make every type of illness and sickness to come upon them. So all of these spiritual practices are necessary in these last days and in days of difficulty. One for one's own energy and once you build your energy then you build your health, you build your spiritual insight and, and many different benefits and that was the reality of Islam is that to come to Islam, practice a way in which to open your iman and with your Islam and iman that you would open the reality of maqam and ihsan, the way of perfection. That you have to use the physicality with Islam, the rules of Islam pertain to only physicality but the way of iman has to do with light, it's not physical. Faith is not something physical, something it has to be through the heart and, and has to do with love and Divinely love and, and Divinely practices and belief. And belief is not necessarily something tangible in which you can touch, that you know it's there but through your heart and through your practices and through the state of love that you have. As a result of your form coming into Islam, your soul coming into iman and faith then to reach towards maqam al-ihsan in which you see Allah in everything, you see the Divine in everything, inshaAllah. Fa'awzu billahi min shaitan al-azeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem. InshaAllah we're in a discussion earlier and somebody asked that, where is Allah? And how to reach to Allah because we talk a lot about Sayyidina Muhammad and then they feel like maybe they're neglecting Allah And then they went to sleep and had a dream in which the Divine the Presence called them and confirmed to them that you call upon Prophet and I'll be there. And that understanding is the tariqah's teaching. The shaykh is teaching us how to draw near to Allah Means this is all about how to draw near to Allah how to perform the acts and deeds in which are most pleasing to Allah and to gain the love of Allah 
And that's why to accompany a, a guide and a teacher requires faith and patience. He knows you don't know. No matter what you think you know is at least 1000 maqams above you which is something people can't even understand the, the, the distance of that reality and is continuously moving. Means, okay I know you're 20 years, I know you're this many years, doesn't matter because every time you thought you grew at the same length the shaykh is moving and growing so that they never catch up to that understanding. And the concept of the guide is, is to take them to where Allah's, where Allah is, is this location and the reality where Allah has no location but to take them to the Divinely Presence and take them to the love of Allah And with the deep reality that, that opens within that and Allah described for Prophet I'm not on heaven and I'm not on earth but I'm in the heart of my believer. And the, the only true believer for Allah is in the completion of what we call the kalimah, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So one you have a, a, a location in which Allah has no location but Allah has given His location that, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth means then you write on your book, Allah not in heaven, not on earth, I'm in the heart. I'm in the heart of that one whom I created for my love, for my representation, for my holy Qur'an to be emitting from that location and I created this light to be known. So it means our, our location now is the heart of Prophet So you, once and for all we begin to understand our journey is to Allah and Allah gives us a course that, I'm not in heaven so where are you going to direct yourself? What are you, what are you going to try to accomplish? Where are you going to accomplish it? And I'm not on earth. Some people may try to find Allah in a building, in a box, in a structure and Allah is just defining for us, no those whom really love me, those whom really love me they should know. I'm not in heavens, I'm not sitting somewhere where you're going to come and say, hi how are you, how's everything, I've been missing you long time and there's nothing on earth that can contain him. We said, no I have to go specifically to this building and that's the only building and that's where Allah Allah. So Allah is giving us our coordinates for those whom seeking through sincerity and true love because He wants them to find the ease, He wants, He's a hidden treasure wanting to be known and begins to divulge to them, I'm not in heavens and I'm not on earth. You find me with one whom loves me. You find me in the heart of my believer and the one whom loves in complete perfection, Allah gave to him a title so it would not be hard for you to find and it's called Habibullah, the beloved of Allah The one whom Allah created out of Divinely love means it can't be something imagined, it's not our love, it's Divinely love created this reality to be known by it and through it and with it. And that's why Allah throughout Qur'an is describing khuluq al you have a magnificent character, you're the, the beatific character, all of these, these attributes that Allah is giving, giving to His own, His own reality and lights that are reflecting within Muhammadun Rasulullah If Allah is going to be known by the light of Prophet and known by these realities, He's going to make it of course the best of character, the best of fragrances, the, the one whom is the best of fragrance, khushbu, the one whom had the best of manners, the, the best of worshipness, the best of ada, best of sincerity because it's Allah He's not going to be known through inner a lower perfection, he's going to be known through the highest perfection. So the turuqs, the paths are a path to Allah And Holy Qur'an Allah is telling Prophet قُلِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي Tell them if they want my love فَاتَّبِعُونِي to follow you because they didn't know yet to follow you because I'll be found inside that reality. 
And then what Allah said next, Yuhibbukumullah and after they follow Prophet means truly follow with all their heart and with all their love, Allah then gives to us, Yuhibbukum, I will love them and Qafur Rahim and that I will forgive them for if Allah's Divinely love should dress the servant. Imagine that love now is one whom followed Muhammadun Rasulullah dressed with Divinely love. No doubt that Allah's Divinely grace forgives them and dresses them and takes away all of their imperfections, all of the past and all of the future. Allah continuously cleans because it's the abode of His Divinely love. The Divinely love itself by means of that love is what we described was faith, Yuhibukumullah. The one whom follows Prophet and loves him more than he loves himself, Allah's grant was, I will love my servant. And that's, that's the Divine love that dressing them because they loved Prophet more than they loved themselves, Allah dresses the servant with Divine love, hence the stations of Iman. And from Iman the stations of Maqam al-Ihsan in which if Allah's love is upon that servant then imagine that everything they see is through Divine love, that Allah is with them, Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. So this is all about how to get to the Divine love of Allah And if Allah wants us to be with Prophet then that is the secret then how to reach to that reality, how to reach to the presence of Prophet And that's why all the teaching is based on how to reach to Prophet How to make your durood, how to make your salawats, how to make these majlis and, and sit into these circles in which praising the Divine the Presence, praising the reality of Prophet Why? To gain Allah's love and Allah's nearness. And as a result they become ashiqeen and lovers of the Divine Reality and in every praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad we said before even they can't praise Prophet And that's the secret of the reality of zikr, that the zikr of Sayyidina Muhammad was Allah but the zikr of Allah was Inna Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi That Allah said, my zikr is to pray and praise upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and my angels and anyone whom wishes to join in. That opened the reality of that zikr, that this zikr of Allah is, is a means in which to draw near to the presence of Prophet and when we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, we mention Allah, Allahumma and the reality of humma means it's not even us asking. We cannot praise upon Prophet Allah didn't even allow it. That Allah is asking to make salawat but the salawat actually says that Allah will bless Sayyidina Muhammad so it means that this is an immense power that Allah is asking us, why don't you just join into this power and that my light, my power upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because that is the perfected light in which God Almighty wants to be known by, the perfected light because we can never reach the Divine the Presence. It's the secret of a mirror. That when Allah is a hidden reality but is reflecting out, that reflection out is Muhammadun Rasulullah is that Divinely light, that beatific light in which Allah Because once something manifests it's creation, that which is non-manifest and remains hidden is La ilaha illallah. Nobody can say that manifest because that's a big shirk. So the, the, the real reality is that which is hidden is remains always hidden. 
Once Allah wants to be known and reflects this power, reflects that zikr because we described how manifestation comes. How manifestation comes? If there's a form means you break it down, there must be lights. If there's lights there's atoms, there's movement. They found from the atoms and movement that there's energy creating all of that and then they found behind the energy there was actual vibration. Means that Allah is making a zikr and as Allah from unseen oceans makes a sound and a zikr, all of a sudden an energy is coming. From this energy when it's going to begin to manifest these atoms, this form is forming as a result lights are coming from lights creating all these energies and these forms. So it means the immensity of Allah's Divinely praise is coming through, as soon as it manifests it becomes Muhammadun Rasulullah Because that which manifests is not Allah God is never manifesting but His beauty is everywhere. There's no location for the Divinely Creator but his, his location is everywhere. Means that the immensity of the Divine, the Presence something that can't be understood. But Allah gave to us, La ilaha illallah, there is no divinity but Allah and that me and you and no creation is in that ocean. As soon as Allah makes a praise and this light begins to manifest, it's called Muhammadun Rasulullah When we master our reality in that world of light, by these salawats and these characters, what happens? We're now moving into the heart of Prophet and that becomes the Divine the Presence. The heart of Prophet, this is the journey of these 12 months, that this is a journey in the world of souls and that every month now we entered into from Tahseen, we entered into Yaseen or Qur'an and Hakim, because this is now the house of Qur'an. This, this, in a world of light if you could imagine the qalb and the center most nucleus of that power, we're entering into that nucleus, into the center of that power and that's Divinely speech of Allah manifesting from the heart of this reality. So then this is an immense ocean of power and how do we draw near to God is by the salawat, the durood, the good character and the love of Prophet Because nothing moves you faster into a presence than love, not your mind and not your actions. If you thought it's your actions imagine like you can sit and pray and I'm going to be in Divinely Presence. You can sit there 10,000 years and you'll never feel anything. It's not your mind that can take you there. But you can sit and meditate and cry and think of all of the Divine love you have, the love for Prophet all the struggle within his holy life and his holy companions and holy family and immediately your heart is in the Divine the Presence. Within an instant of ishq Allah made something of you able to enter into Divine the Presence and it's not your head and it's not your body, it's the heart. As soon as the, the servant opens their heart, opens their love, brings their compassion of the Divine within their heart in an instant they're a qawbu qawsaini wa adana. Wa Allah says, I'm nearer to you than your jugular vein because this is all related to the heart. So the servant meditate and contemplate with this love draws near into the reality of Prophet as a result they are drawing near to the presence of Allah We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding and that alhamdulillah this is a, a month of immense blessings, immense dresses of Surat al Yaseen and so much of fitna that opening upon the earth. May Allah by means of this love protect us, protect our families and our communities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans 
We have now five bands, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.